most important things in media is they can trust you. They can trust your word. Whether you're correct or incorrect, that's, I mean, you're going to have some wins, you're going to have some losses, but they trust what you're saying because you believe what you're saying truly. I sit back and I just, I don't, I don't say a lot of shit. I don't like, I don't want to expose motherfuckers. I mean, I keep that in the tub just in case I got to shoot some rounds off. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of bloggers, they just keep it real. You get the nitty gritty like, you know what I'm saying? They had these kind of blog awards where niggas was going at each other's heads and all of this stuff. And these were niggas that I was watching consistently to stay in the loop because I was with the family life doing all of that shit. So I would check in with uh, Chris Unbias, um, uh, shit, even Norbs, uh, shit. I was checking in with Battle Truth with, with everybody, with all the major uh, media outlets. And when them niggas started like, they stopped, the, they stopped trying to really talk about battle rap and start going at each other and started getting personal. Shit, I made one vlog and shit in 2017 and, and I never stopped it after that. I figured if they not gonna talk that shit, why, why not? Why not myself? All right, y'all, here we go. I'm Seven Mitchell. This week's Battle Rap 30 for 30 brings to the Battle Rap community the second installment of Blog Awards, Volume 2. As we spin the block, we're gonna take a trip out to Detroit to holler at my guy Ledge from Top Tier Podcast. Then we're gonna fly over the pond up to the UK to link up with the girl to fire when Miss Phoenix fire. Shooting back to the Midwest, just hold this L time with the homie Capology Facts. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna lock in with a real architect in his own right, you dig? The big dog, BA of Get Your Bars Up Media. We back at it with the Blogging Wars, part two. Y'all already know how I do when it comes to these battle rap documentaries, man. This your new battle rap 30 for 30. Seven Mitchell in the building, man. We got part two of the Blog Awards, man. We're going to highlight some of the dope up-and-coming media platforms in battle rap, man. We want to get a flowers right now. So I hope you guys enjoy kick back and get in tune with some of the new personalities in the culture of battle rap. Starting off, we got the homie ledge from top tier podcast now i've been rocking out with ledge for a little minute now and solid dude from out detroit the midwest man drama free he hardworking like he keep his head down 10 toes down and he get to it man he a big supporter when it comes to female battle rap he don't just cover the hottest thing or the trending topics like he's solid he and he definitely takes his time and he invests in his own craft well respected from people that know him in the culture, so we definitely got salute. You know my guy, uh, Les. Uh, well, maybe about three or four years ago, once I seen um, guys like Jay Black really kind of like just take it to a next level. Being that back in the Facebook days, he was kind of just doing reactions, and then he just took it to another level from the kitchen to champion and things like that. I really got immersed in it, um, talking to some people behind the scenes about <clears throat> how what's the proper way to get into it, um, who to talk to, who to contact. Um, and for years, because I've been watching Battle Rap since uh, roughly 98, 99, um, people was always saying like, yo, you, you, know, you know a lot, you've seen a lot, and you talk about it with a passion. Why don't you just make a platform? And I don't know, I just finally found time in my life to really just build a little platform get some equipment and uh like try my hand at it and it's been working out for me so far i'm gonna break it up then we got my guy ba man from get your bars up media man shout out to my guy ba from get your bars up media man real real solid dude like from day one that i met this cat man he has definitely been solid um, anytime I've needed him to for some collaboration work, man, he's always been there. His his insight on the culture and just life because he's not a kid, he's a grown man like me, and it's just a it's just an honor to be able to tap in with people that really got you know that mindset. And you know he's a huge supporter of uh, my network, man. I'm I'm currently you know trying to gather some funds for a laptop so I can finally get a laptop, and he made a big time donation towards. You know what I mean? That goal, and I really appreciate it because he's a pig. He does the same thing I do. So, you know, I, I really appreciate that. And, you know, the love will definitely be vice versa. But, you know, shout out to BA. Get your bars up media on YouTube. De definitely solid. He got some dope interviews, recaps, predictions. 
he all over the place with it. He support female battle rap as well as the male. So, you know, you definitely going to get a variety of stuff out my guy, uh, B.A. from Get Your Balls Up Media. In your opinion, regardless of what you do, give the people three key elements of being a decent media outlet in battle rap. Honestly, um, it's, uh, it's knowing the history uh, would be one. Um, being consistent and standing on your word, bro. Standing on your word with, and what I mean by standing on your word is, if uh, don't don't let any other people outside of your mind and what you do influence you. You dig influence yourself. Then we got Capo. Capo, hold this L, man. Capo, hold this L Media. That's another one of my guys who was out there, stamped, solidified. Um, you know, Capo. I'm not going to say Capo don't be into no drama because Capo don't start a lot of shit, but Capo don't back down neither. Like, you play with Capo, Capology Facts is going to get at you. So, you know, you definitely go to his channel. You're going to see some some, uh, some things lit popping off, but he's a good dude. He's a solid dude. Uh, I, I don't get no negative vibes in his whole energy that he, that he gives. And he's been doing this thing for years, man. He's on site at events, you know what I mean? Doing his live streams, doing interviews with artists, collaborating with other, you know what I'm saying? Media outlets as well. You guys is definitely stepping it up and, 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 and are underrated, I think, when it comes to what they bring to the game. So shout out to him. Why did you start in the media profession when it came to Battle Rap Capo? Like what literally got you specifically into this? Oh, everybody should know this. Like. My true followers should they know this, right? The reason why Capology Facts was born, pray for St. Louis, pray for Missouri. Y'all remember that time? Do I gotta go into detail? Last but not least, y'all already know I had to go ahead over to the pond and show the ladies some love. Y'all know about Phoenix Fire. Shout out to my girl Phoenix Fire, another up and coming media personality, real official. I, I fuck with Phoenix Fire, man. Her interviews, she be interviewing some of the dopest people in battle rap. You gotta check out her channel. Her interview style is dope. I've been on her show, real good show. Like she's real, her questions is on point. She's on point when it comes to recaps and predictions and all that. And you know, the thing I like about Phoenix the most is that she's a female that's really into the coaches. No clout chasing, she not someone that's using her looks to, you know, gain any type of momentum or notoriety. Like she just be about the culture. She low key, she laid back and um, she got a dope little platform. I um I like how when she do the battle is when she do her interviews, she'll do like Phoenix Fire versus this battle rapper. That's how she titled her videos. I wanted to steal that Phoenix, I'm being honest. I wanted to steal that, but I said, no, that's your lane, that's fire and you know, that's how you do it because people always put in a battle rapper's verses. So her shit gonna pop up and that's just smart. So you can tell Shorty got brains behind the madness as well. So Phoenix Fire as well, I had to, you know, include in part two of the blog awards, man, because like I said, we gotta keep showing each other love. I'm just kind of, I'm like a battle rap head, you know, I'm a hip hop head and a battle rap head. And I've kind of just been around, I was a lot on Discord, like talking to so many different people about battle rap and stuff. So, and they're always like, yo, Phoenix, you should blog, you should talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And obviously like, a lot of people like, like my accent as well, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, you should blog and that. And I just always thought, oh no, I don't want to blog. I just want to like <laughs> listen and talk about battle rap. But right. I don't know, I just feel like, because I'm so passionate about it that it was just something that kind of naturally happened. You know what I'm saying? I needed an outlet. So like, you know, having my own page is like my outlet so I can like, you know, rant or whatever it is, give my opinions and stuff, you know? And if people want to listen to it, because I love battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you watch my stuff, you can tell. I get excited, you know? <laughs> and we got to continue to give each other game. If we give up the culture, if we about ourselves, we ain't got to tell each other nothing. You know what I mean? Do what you do. Me, I'm just on a different time, man. I love throwing the alley-oop. I love getting the alley-oop and finishing the play. You know what I'm saying? I love building. And, you know, once you're able to do something on your own and you know you can do it on your own, it's time to take stuff to another level. So 
I've never been one that want to put myself in one box. That's why I've always been the one to want to collaborate with people, no matter how popular, unpopular they are. It's not really about that. It's about executing and putting out a dope product. What does your platform bring to the table? It brings a sense of, uh, I guess I would say, unbiasedness. That's the first and foremost. People know, like, I don't have any favorite battle rappers. I didn't grow up around any of them. I'm here in Detroit, but I'll keep it real with any Detroit artist, just like I would if he was on the west or the south. And so people come to me for, like, yo, who do you have winning? and why and or in the predictions who you got going into this battle winning and why and they know it's coming from a genuine place there's no hate there's no like i said there's no vested interest so they trust i think <clears throat> that and then just along with me actually trying to break down battles trying to understand lines trying to uh help people who may not understand, but not talking down to them as some elitist because I might know a little bit more. Like it's very much, hey, you probably missed this. They, this is what they meant. And they be like, oh, good looking out, as opposed to like, you think you know everything. So I think people come to me for that. And I feel like I'm very transparent and relatable. As you see, like I'm, I'm at the crib, guest room, my background is chill. I got my dog with me and yeah, it's just it's a relaxing feeling when you listen to me and you come uh, get some content from me, you know, it's going to be genuine and um, I've done my research. When Beat Magic and, 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 and Ice Pack, they no showed on URL and then for a whole month they went on a, a fuck Beat Magic and, and Ice Pack, <laughs> you know, media tour. That was the that was that was that point right then and there. I turned on the camera, and I got to represent for the Midwest. Especially, I'm from Missouri. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, though. Fire. But we Missourians at that. That's fine. You know I mean? That's fine. So we 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 needed a a voice from Missouri, and niggas to let these niggas know like you can't point the finger. Because I've seen a lot of people do the same thing, and I don't hear that praise. I didn't get that same energy. We just recently got those situations. I don't get the energy. Right. They pick and choose. So I chose to get in this battle rap media, and that, that was the birth. Um, with the different platforms, it's like it's 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 easy. It's easier to to get access to to information mm -hmm. as far as. Um, if, uh, if, if, if Kiki drops a blog, you feel me? If Kiki drops a blog and she says that somebody did da 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 da, da we going to catch flame super, super quick because we're going to turn on YouTube or whatever platform that we use and we're going to know about it. And then we're going to actually talk about it. Um, I, I definitely do. And, uh, that's getting back to it being, so it's still, it's still growing and it's still pretty fresh. You feel me? So, um, I would say. We can talk about we can talk about anything because corporate doesn't have a hold on our neck yet. It hasn't polluted the game yet. We got caffeine though. We definitely got caffeine creeping in there, but we're still raw and organic. You dig? I think being unique, um, having the, yeah, being unique is important. I mean, something that stands out for the crowd. Because a lot of people try to, you know, blog or, or something, but make your page stand out and also obviously your content has to be interesting and um yeah just something that makes people want to come back to your page um audio and visuals are important so having a good camera ideally and um yeah just make sure the sound's clear as well so yeah dope, dope. And, yeah <laughs> now you've been getting a lot of great feedback did you expect the the type and the amount of feedback that you've been getting for your work no i didn't honestly shout out to everybody that's been showing me love support i really didn't you know honestly like it's just so amazing i swear it's just no words like seriously mm. I, I and i don't want to sound corny this is 100 percent true because i didn't really go into it being like oh i want to be a blog i just want to talk about battle rap you know what i'm saying like right. and you know people's like response on twitter 
just the love, the retweets and all that, that's been dope, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and it's kept me going because I, I started listening to Bad about well, a dark period in my life, you know? And right. it's kind of helped me grow. Like, it, it helped me a lot, get through so much, you know? And just, like, people showing support when it kind of helps me kind of, like, come out of, like, my dark place, you know, that I've been in a while, you know, for real. Right. All the love that people showing me, me so much to me, so much, so for real. see a lot of fighting content i see a lot of people that you know they'll watch you from afar but they won't let you watch you they won't let you know they're watching but then they'll dr they'll drop something that you just spoke about then their followers will pick up on it you know what i mean there's a lot of things i've talked about it's cool and then when the mainstream gets to it there's a big conversation I see a lot of that also. Shout out to them four Phoenix Fire, Capology Facts, BA from Get Your Bars Up Media, and my guy Ledge from Party uh, Podcast. Y'all definitely got to follow these guys everywhere on social media. All four of them, good people, official, not just good content, good people. And I think that's what we need in our circle when it comes to the battle rap culture. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the drill, man. Y'all know who I be. Y'all know who I be. I hope y'all like this video. If y'all did like this 30 for 30, please hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be notified when I drop the next 30 for 30. The next 30 for 30 is really going to be a crazy one. A crazy one. We'll talk about that later, man. 7 Mitchell T7M Radio. This is your Battle Rap 30 for 30. Make sure you guys subscribe to each of these media platforms to get a little unique taste of what the battle rap culture has to offer when it comes to diversity. If you already familiar with these platforms, drop a comment below in the comment section about what you like most about each individual's content. This is this week's battle rap 30 for 30 blog awards edition volume two salute to you guys like comment and subscribe. Y'all stay safe. Links are in the description box for all donations and support. Thank you guys. Y'all have a good week.